The Western Highlands Provincial Health Authority received tremendous support from the International Committee of the Red Cross when the hospital's chapel was turned into the new isolation ward for COVID-19. ICRC funded the facility to the tune of more than 100,000 kina. The building interior holds 12 beds, a delivery room, wash facility, toilet and bathroom, including PPE donning and doffing stations and an area for disinfection and waste management. COVID-19 took us all uh, by surprise. It's uh, the same for ICRC. Everywhere in the world where we worked, we had to think how we can best support communities and authorities in these new, uh, this new challenging times. So here in PNG as well, we have adapted our programs. In the Red Cross also assisted the hospital by establishing two pre-triage tents for screening outpatients, PPEs for staff and materials for infection prevention and control. The support by the Red Cross is to ensure that the conditions meet national and international standards. Also, the Tininga group of companies was supportive to the work of the COVID-19 Task Force Committee in Western Highlands. C is totally key and able to help the entire province and wonderful entity that services not only the Western Highlands but Jiwaka and Southern Highlands, Zenga, Chimbu, all the other provinces and areas that are put upon it as a burden to service as well. Sister Joyce Atagla said through their support that they have been able to collect 52 samples in which the IMR tested nine cases which all turned out negative, 24 still pending, 13 have also been tested by the hospital's pathology and also came back negative. The hospital CEO, Mr. David Vorst, thanked Red Cross and Tininga for their support in working together with the Western Highlands Provincial Health Authority and COVID-19 Task Force Committee to deliver the new COVID-19 isolation centre for the province. We will do, but also deal with the virus when it comes, and it will come, uh, is an extraordinary effort by the staff of this organisation. Mr. Voss said the isolation centre is now open and ready for use. Jeremy Moggy, National TV News.